I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone, everyone. I am here for Manifest Season 1, Episode 14. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my people, welcome back. So, I'm just going to call the Church of the Return a cult because it seems very cult like. Like, one of the um, returnees, he was walking down the streets. And people was like, oh my goodness, you're him. And they all praised over him. So he was like, I'm going to make me a quick little book. And I'm going to make my The Church of the Returnees. And I was getting, this seems like a cult. Because the way that people were like reciting, I guess, whatever it was they were reciting. It, it sounds very cult-like. And I was like, maybe that's just me because I'm always suspicious of what's going on. But like, it was kind of confirmed later on. This is a cult. This man is lying to these people. Something wrong with y'all. So, Cal and Zeke both have a calling one night. Zeke, he, him and Michaela, they make it back to her place. He doesn't really want to go visit anybody right now. But she's like, okay, I need much I can make you like leave here. But like, he wakes up in the middle of the night. And it's some kind of like, y'all remember from the Ghostbusters movie, that little creepy looking wolf dog thing? It kind of reminded me of that. I think that was Ghostbusters 1. Yeah, it was 1. You know, the little dog thing that was chasing Rick Moranis. That's kind of what it reminded me of. But Cal, he wakes up, he's shaking on the floor talking about him. It's coming. We don't know what that means, but we do know that Cal and Zeke, they both had this calling. Now, Zeke, this is kind of like, he knew to this. And, you know, Cal, he truly is. He, this is something that happens to him quite often. He gets the callings. We don't know what it means. But, you know, if I had seen this wolf-looking dog at the door, I would be kind of scared, too. Especially since it looked like that one off the Ghostbusters movie. But, anyways, we move over to sign B. Now... This lady comes to her office saying that her husband, he has cancer. He's very, very sick. I need your help. Right off the bat, I did not trust her. I thought either she was one of these people that think they are alien or they're there to cause harm or she was just plum crazy. Well, I wouldn't say she was crazy. She was led into the crazy. So, Sign V goes over to the woman's house, you know, kind of check on the husband. Now, she let this woman know prior that I'm a pediatric doctor. Okay, I really don't work on grown-ups. And I'm not going to guarantee you that I can help your husband, but I will come and see what I can do. Well, she ended up getting kidnapped by this woman. Yeah. Well, the woman had been going to the little church of the returnees, and she was led to believe that the returnees can, can perform miracles. She had been wishing and hoping and praying and leaving all kind of letters on the wall. So she's been told that, hey, they can perform miracles. Therefore, you need to come to my house and perform a miracle. Well, some people was like, well, there's nothing I can do. I can make him comfortable, but I can't really help him. She gets to slap and some be around like left and right. She didn't put a gun out on him. The husband's trying to assure Sign V that, you know, the wife is not usually that crazy. But, you know, we've been married for two years and I've been sick for almost the whole time. I got sick right after we got married and she kind of losing it right now. I said, yes, with the help from that cult leader over there. So, Adrian, he is the cult leader. And he has been out here telling the members that the returnees can perform miracles. So, now this is why this woman believes that. Because she was told that. Now... Ben is worried about Sam V because he went to go speak to her. She wasn't there. She's seen this letter on her desk. She goes to see um, Adrian at the, you know, the, the church. I don't even want to call it that. And once he walks in, some of his followers, they all hide because like, oh my goodness, that's Ben. He's like the leader of the returnees. So you know something good is going to happen. And Ben just calls him on his BS. It's like, what's good, bro? And he was like, you know, Brother Benjamin, I am here. You know, doing all that. I was like, uh-uh. Don't, uh -uh. I hate when these people, like, try to use religion and, like, swindle people. Uh-uh. So, Ben realizes the, a letter that is on the wall happens to be from the woman that left the letter at, um, um, at Michaela's office. 
So he shows up pretending that he can heal the husband. Like, look in here, brother. You'll be fine. I am no the returnee. We have all the powers. And he was doing all that stuff. Long enough so Michaela can come in. One, call for backup. And two, and sneak in and disarm this woman. So now, like, you made this woman believe that she can perform miracles. Now you're going to jail and your husband is not going to be there. You're not going to be there for your husband when he passes on. And now you're not going to traumatize Sanvi. Like... Adrian you have some explaining to do like a lot of explaining to do and Ben goes back there to him and like look here bro Sanvi is traumatized because you was telling people that we we are performing miracles and that's not true we didn't die and come back we just I don't know what happened but that was not it and we not out here performing miracles but he out there like well, I don't believe that the only important thing is that they believe that he go out there to die going to Tell the people about all the miracles that the returnees is going to do. And as they pass in the collection, collection plate, I was like. I was like, now, just to add a queer, queer, add a pure coincidence that the husband happened to get better after all this. Then it's going to solidify that they are miracle workers. Like, if, like, some chance the, the cancer just happened to go away, then they would really be in trouble. But anyways... So this whole episode, like Michaela and Jared, they've been trying. There's some body stole some money and like ran the van into the river. Now they've been like trying left and right to get this van out. People have tried to jump in the water to get the money out. Well, they finally get the van out, and I don't know how it's been underwater for a good little minute. Man's still alive in there. They, Michaela opens up the door, the water comes out, and he comes lunging at Michaela. I'm like, how is it that you are still alive, sir? I thought they said that the van had been up under there for over a year. I know it had been up under the water for over five hours. So how is it, sir, that you are wide awake? You <gasps> jumping out of Michaela after you've been underwater for a while. Are you Aquaman? I need to know these things. Cal, he's... They've been trying to, you know, get Cal. Okay, what does this call mean? Cal didn't want to draw anymore because he thought his drawings were causing all these bad things to happen. He didn't realize that he was, you know, he was predicting them. He wasn't calling, causing them. And they see his last drawing was like the little wolf thing from the Ghostbusters jumping out at Michaela. Now we got to figure out what exactly does this mean in the old grand scheme of things. Lastly, Michaela just has to finally come clean to Lord and say she and Jared slept together. Because Jared, he's still like, after he slept with Michaela, he don't want to sleep with Lourdes no more. Michaela is the love of his life, and had she not been on that plane, they would have been married. But, you know, he ended up, you know, marrying Lourdes while he thought Michaela was dead. Michaela come back and, you know, was like, the love of my life is back. Now, Lourdes had already been feeling like, okay... Does Jared really love me or is it just I'm just here because Michaela's like not here and she kind of got that answer when Michaela basically was like yes it was a mistake we shouldn't have done that. Now she didn't live but Jared thinks okay now we can be together. Like Lord has left 15 minutes ago. Y'all you can't just jump and be with Michaela that fast. You know that right Jared or do you? Because you act like you don't. So that was the gist. If I left anything out by means of a comment below. I did see how the major, she was there, you know, she knows she got to, you know, still keep an eye on Ben, but I want something to happen to her, because, like, don't be out here messing with Cal. Cal done been through too much, but anyways, that was the gist. If I left anything out, well, I mean, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It is free all day, every day, free 99. If you're returning, welcome back. I mean, if you want, if you return and you want my people, you want my family members, well, go back. Tell your people to tell their people to come over here and be one of my peoples. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.